Miroslav Kolodzha, despite having once been a member of the Communist Party, was opposed to socialist realism, and he refused to join Tito's partisans. His refusal saw him more or less ostracized after 1945. By 1947, however, he was appointed the vice president of the Yugoslav Academy of Sciences and Art in Zagreb. He founded the Yugoslav Institute for Lexicography and remained at the head of this institution, which was later renamed the Miroslav Kolodzha Institute for Lexicography. In 1968, he won the Herder Prize, a prestigious award to those who were deemed to have contributed to the cultural understanding shared between then somewhat warsome European countries. Very few famed Croats can walk the line of influencing both national and former Yugoslav culture so successfully. Politically controversial and a very prominent modernist writer, he was a constant advisor to Tito on cultural affairs. Spanning over 1,800 pages, Zastava, The Banners, is written in several volumes and the political theme of the novel opens a broad historical perspective on the life of the Croatian, Serbian and Hungarian generations. It has been dubbed the Croatian War and Peace. Join me tomorrow for another episode of One Minute Croatia.